until April 1 of 1991. The purpose of the committee would be simply to review suitable uses for the town owned property at 1226 Shore Road. The committee would be charged with reviewing the current condition of the property, soliciting views on potential uses from the Main Street 90 Committee, the Community Services Advisory Commission, the Board of Historic Preservation Advisors, the Arts Commission, the School Board, and the Municipal Facilities Committee, and from the public at large. Uh, the committee also would be charged with working with town staff and having a preliminary pre application conference with the Cape Elizabeth Planning Board, which would be, in essence, soliciting their views as well. In a, in a, the pre-application conference mode. And finally, to prepare a, a recommendation to the Town Council of a proposed use or uses. Uh, that would have to include cost estimates for any work required, as well as for operating cost, and uh, as well as a management plan uh, for, the, for the property. And that would be who would, who would govern, you know, bookings of it and, and all that sort of thing. And for that recommendation to be submitted to you no later than February 1 of 1990. Uh, in this, uh, this draft that I prepared, uh, the, the, you know, I think it's important to to review this with as many citizens, interested constituent parties as possible. And if you add up the membership of the different committees suggested, I think it's well over 50 people in addition to the public at large. So it, it really is intend, intended to uh, have a broad public partic participation process. I, as I explained in my memo, and I, you, I'm sure you've all read it, I'm, I won't dwell on it. Uh, but uh, my sense is that, you know, be because it's so inclusive and because there will be such participation, you could give this charge to an existing committee instead of delaying and, uh, some of the, the other issues involved with setting up a new committee. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Comments from Councillors? Councillor McLaughlin. Mr. McGovern, would you explain how the proposed schedule for whatever committee we establish would fit into the schedule we know about for the Municipal Facilities Committee? Yeah, this would be, you have before you on the podium tonight the, the draft, the charge that was given to the Municipal Facilities Committee uh, that, that's on the podium at Councilor McLaughlin's request. Uh, what this would in essence be, be doing is amending that charge, uh, adding this as an additional responsibility. You know, it, it's not necessary to take the legal form that you change all the wording. Uh, but w what it does do is essentially amends that charge and tells the Municipal Facilities Committee that you would like to have them do these things uh, by, the, by the dates indicated. How does it fit into reports that they're working on right now? Are they almost finished with something so they could devote their attention to this, or is this going to overload them? That's one of my concerns. I discussed that with Eric Chappell, who's the chairman of the Municipal Facilities Committee. And at this point, they're having a meeting, I think on the 25th, sometime later this month, at which they hope to come very, very close to making a recommendation on what to do with police and fire facilities. My my sense is that that meeting they're going to be they're, they're going to be one meeting away from making recommendations on those issues. They have already made the recommendation on the public works garage. So at at that point they will have just about completed uh, their major pieces of work. Uh, the other point with this is you know a lot of the the work that needs to be done here is upfront by staff and. You know, we can send out all the letters soliciting the views from, from all the different constituent groups, uh, be it for a new committee that comes, goes on, comes on, or be it for another committee that this judge could be assigned to. So, you know, I did, a lot of the work is staff, uh, except for the policy-related aspect of it. A lot of it's just getting letters out and getting returns and then presenting it to the committee. Thank you. Any other comments? Councilor Reed. A question for um, Manager McGovern. Michael, if we um, give this charge to the Municipal Facilities Committee, work could start tomorrow? Work can start tomorrow if you give it to the Municipal Facilities Committee or if you assign it to a new committee or any other group. The staff can begin to get things in I process. See. Thank you. Councilor Jordan. I have no qualms against the uh, the present committee, but I had envisioned uh, a few different people on this committee as far as, I probably shouldn't say it because I might uh, hurt, hurt Chapel's feelings, but uh, elderly people, I thought, might want to be involved in this, one or two of them. And I suppose I could put Herb in that category, in that <laughs> uh, committee, but uh, 
we could nominate a counselor. What's that? Say that again? Excuse me. I'm not in that category. I'm not going to. We went over that once. I think it's one year. Uh, so this is my thinking now. I, I, for years, not been one to committee after committee, but if one committee is going to get done here and uh, maybe some new faces would like to have a look at it. I don't know. I don't know if there's any response after we spoke about it, uh, thinking about having a committee or whatever, but I just had some visions of other type people on. Well, under, under the committee charge, it does say solicit from public at large, and all these meetings are public meetings. So I would think that there'd be ample opportunity and I'm not sure the exact makeup of these other committees, if your particular group is, is completely represented there, but. If, if I might, uh, you know, it, it is in there, some of those groups obviously do have elderly folks on them who want, who happen to be elderly, they're not there to represent the elderly, retire. Thank you. Uh, but beyond that, you might add to the charge for whomever you assign this to, that they specifically solicit the views of, of the elderly, and that can be done particularly through uh, some of the community services activities. They have a very active group, as you know, uh, and you know that could be added to the to the charge, whomever you assign it. Is that the way you'd like it amended, Councilor Jordan? Yes, to I, I think citizen, I would be more senior satisfied citizens. Senior because citizens. I would just like to add that I ain't going to say I've had more letters than anything else. I think the wetlands overdid it, but I had more letters as far as the purchasing of this property, whether we could afford it or not. And uh, maybe some of those people like to throw their oar in here and uh, get involved in it. And they might see it at a different angle once they got involved in it. This is part of my thinking. And uh, I support the project. I support the purchase. But uh, I, as I stated at the time, I didn't support the way you wanted to buy it, but anyway, that is my thinking over yours. When you have money to do a project, I think you should use it that way and not use half it and borrow the other half, but that's my opinion over yours. I support it, and I've talked to most of these people, and I think when I get done that they are fairly well convinced that we should go forward with it, because it's a piece of property that the town could use in future years. And sometimes you have to jump into those things, maybe not when you really want them. So th you, I believe he is amending this. Do the councils feel that, that they agree with you? Amending this to include or specifically solicit comments from the senior citizen community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Council Amaro. Yeah, I uh, think it makes sense to uh, refer this charge to the Municipal uh, Building Committee, Facilities Committee, uh, as long as they're willing to do it. It sounds like certainly their chairman is willing to take it on. Uh, but I think we should definitely amend the charge uh, under Section 2, uh, first of all, to eliminate the Municipal Facilities Committee as one of the groups to seek input. And to add to that, uh, groups such as the Senior Citizens Committee uh, and, and maybe words to the effect that not these exclusively but any other group that the committee finds might be helpful to seek their input. Mm -hmm. And with that, I'd make a motion uh, to that effect uh, that we add this charge to, to the existing charge of the Municipal Facilities Committee. Second. Any further comments? All those in favor? It's a seven zero. We welcome another project begins. Ida, next uh, item on the agenda, citizens discussion of items not on the agenda. There being no citizens present um, <laughs> other than camera crew. <laughs> Um, we'll move on to the next item, which is item number 90, um, to consider entering executive session, session to receive an update from the town manager on land acquisition activities and a personnel matter. Madam Chairman, 
I'm not convinced that we need to go into executive session to discuss the land acquisition activities, and I'd like to um, hear from the rest of the board, the rest of the council, and see if they are. I think this is a discussion that is well suited to public discussion, in, if we want to go into a workshop session. Okay. Um, in addition to what was sent to you on the, the land acquisition um, item. There is also another item that really needs to be discussed in executive session, as well as the person. Is that what you added to the item? I don't have that on my paper. When the last part of what you read, that's the all. Personnel, she said. personnel. And per personnel matter. Yeah, it's to, to clarify this, it's the it's the item you have before you. Plus, the, there's an issue involving a right of way. Uh, that, that ought to be discussed in executive session. You can debate whether or not the one you have before you ought to be or not. And the third item is a, is a personnel matter that shouldn't take more than five minutes. I have no problem with it. We have a motion to that effect then? So moved. All those in favor? Okay, then we will go into executive opposed. session. I'm sorry? Yeah. Janet's, Janet's opposed. <laughs> Majority is in favor. Um, Janet's been sitting next to someone too long. I keep a script. <laughs> um, I think I that think um, we will adjourn after we close the executive session. We will not be coming back here um, so that I feel that it would only be fair to our camera crew not to be waiting for us to come back. And with that, I'd say good night to all of you out there. And thank you for watching. Repairs to the heating system are, uh, we're due to be done two weeks.